Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Wild Arms. In our last episode, we had made it to Vesim's lab there. But in today's episode, what I'm wanting to do right quick though, before I get started, is I actually want to go back into the forest prison for just a moment, because I want it... It bugs me when I see a treasure chest that I, I know I can get to. So, we're going to go get it. Because I know the one I missed now. So we're going to just run all the way back up this way. It was, it's, it was right there, too, so I feel really embarrassed that I missed it the way that I did. Because it was pretty much right in front of me, and I didn't even realize it. So, in other words, from here, we just want to go all the way over to where this treasure chest All the way back over this way. And then here, we want to go back south. And then here, back. Wait, did I just... No. Yeah, I think I just screwed it up again. Okay. Keep ward up. Yeah, let's go down it like this. There we go. Yeah, now I've got my bearings. Let's go this way. And then... Well, can't prevent random battles, I guess. Okay, so like I said, just right over here. See, it was right there all this time. And there's our final press graph in this area. Hopefully I didn't miss any more treasure chests, though. I'm not going back in there anytime soon. Alright, now. Now then. Let's finally go talk to Vasim, shall we? Probably should have done the last part, but I just I didn't know how much time I had already been you know, recording, so I just figured go ahead and refresh it and go from there. Okay, do we have anything? Is there anything in these barrels? Nope, not none of barrels from what I can tell. Although there is that thing way back there. Ah, I can't get in there just yet. Because we need Rudy's bombs. And we don't have them. Uh, oh, I don't want to save. Actually, might as well. Vasim! Mariel, what are you doing here? Vasim, Rudy is in trouble. Calm down, Mariel. Breathe. Breathe. I can't believe I'm looking at a forbidden home cross. Rudy needs some living metal to heal his left arm. Please, use the Guardian Blade one last time. No! Do you want me to crack the ground in half again? I can't take part in the creation of another weapon for destruction. The Guardian Blade is the Blade of Doom. I'm not talking about a weapon. I want you to pound out some life force with those hands. Only you can save Rudy. Only you can make metal come to life. Fix Rudy with the technology that produced the Guardian Blade. You become strong. Or should I say your love has become strong. Rudy shared his strength of heart with me. Rudy can change the future of mankind. Make the Guardian Blade save Rudy. It is possible to repair the arm. But we're missing two key ingredients for the operation, though. To reclaim the left hand, we need the Life Force Guardian. To regulate its powers, we need the Illusion Guardian. With both of these in place, we can finally apply the Guardian Blade to his left arm. Mariel, you and I will, protect, pre yeah, will prep him for the operation. You warriors go and gather the true powers of the Guardians. The Life Force Guardian is sealed somewhere in the forest prison. I don't know where the Illusion Guardian is. There is a magical book called De La Metallica. It's a book about alchemy, and it's said to that, and it said the power of illusions lives in it. To find one tiny book in this huge world, I must, you must do this. You are our last hope. And, lucky for me, I know exactly where that book is. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything down in his basement? I must check. Ooh, forge. Hey, can I make my level 2 Master Sword, please? Alright. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I guess we should go back to the uh, forest mound. Because we need to go back to Field Gaia. Teleport to the Forest Mound. Okay, guys, give me just one moment. I need to check something right quick in real life. I'll be right back. 
Alright guys, we're back. Sorry about that. Go to the forest mound. Because we need to go back to, like I said, Filgaya. So then. Oh, don't hump. Don't hump the uh, stump. Don't hump the stump, baby. Don't hump the stump. Well, you can hump the stump if you want to. Whee! That was fast. Okay, now. De La Metallica. <laughs> Where do we know that has a lot of books? Especially magical texts. Hmm. Didn't you... As if it weren't obvious enough. It'd be in the Curran Abbey. We haven't gone there in a while. In fact, I don't think we've been to the Curran Abbey since we started the game. So, welcome back to the Curran Abbey. Oh man, we got seven crest crafts. Alright, let's actually make a detour back to Adelaide so I can use those crest graphs. Adelheid. Adelheid. Adelheid? I don't know how to say it. I can assemble magic, or, you know, that thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, well, might as well get all the advanced spells now. Randomizer. I'm gonna call this roulette. I don't know why. No, I'm gonna call it slot. Yeah, I'll call it slot. Why not? Because it's like random effect. You don't know what you're gonna get. So, lady, let me on your side kind of thing. <laughs> Counter stand. Alright, fine. I'll just call it counter. Okay. I think that does it for the... Nope, there's still this. An anti-magic field. What are we going to call this? Anti-magic. Sure, why not? <laughs> now we still got four crest graphs, so let's go ahead and go back to the... Let's get some of these older spells back. I believe this actually reduces all uh, damage of certain types. Or something. I don't know. We'll just call it field. I don't care. Increase defense. Increase encounter rate. Reflect magic. Recover senses. Phrase. Sure. The spells that we originally uh, had, they should be called the same thing they used to be called. They should be called Scan or Libra, whatever I called it before. Yep, see? Cool. I'm not sure what MGR is. Oh. I guess it is magic resist because I called it shell. Alright, but anyway, that's all of our crest graphs. So, um, uh, wait. I'm gonna go see if, uh, I can donate any more money because it has been a while since I've came here. Ah, okay. Uh, I guess that means all the donations are given. Yay. Alrighty then. Uh, enough, like, I, I do this a lot. I screw around too much and make my videos take longer than they actually need to take. Yes, I would love to stay. Alright. Now, let's go back to the Curran Abbey. I actually really am... I am kind of sort of close to the end of this game, so eventually... I'll probably be... Well, be able to finish it, I'd say, at least by, I'd say at least within a month, if I really work at it. Alright, so anyway, I need to remember how to get through here, because we need to go to the area where Cecilia fought her first boss, essentially a freeze. So let's see if we can remember how to navigate the Kuranabe. Ah, the 
the teardrop door. Yoink. Do 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 do. Yep, we gotta go back to the sealed library. And oh. just throw the box because we don't care. Get the, bam! Yes, ramming stairs since we were nine. Yep, we've already cleared all that crap. It's, a, it's really kind of lame that we do have to come back down this deep. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, a book. Hey, it's a blue book. <laughs> the blue book value. Yeah. yeah, that should be dead. Considering these are mobs from the get beginning of the freaking game, dude. Oh. <laughs> In fact, I think I made that joke about blue books before anyway. Wah! Ow. There's a book entitled Commandment 2. No, thank you. Uh, we're looking for Dilla Metallica. The Elwa Dimension. Elu Dimension? I don't know. Guardian Blade. Enigma of the Elu. Um, reach for the Heavens. Oh. Alright guys, we are back. That Again, I'm just editing out these random battles because... You know, they're from the beginning of the freaking game. So actually, uh, oh yeah, De La Metallica was right over here, that's right. The Guardians, no, De La Metallica, right here. There we go. The pages turn by themselves until it reaches a section on forbidden magic. As your consciousness wanes, you begin to hear voices from afar. And then we get teleported in. And we are ethereal now, I think. Somewhat see-through. Whoa! Yeah, this place, uh, it's weird. It's very trippy. But I kind of like it. Are you... Oh, no, you're not the Necronomicon, so I don't care. <laughs> Memoir's pen. I think that I forget what that does actually. Don't hit me with your binding, that hurts! You don't go around hitting people in the face with books! Bye bye. But just like you don't go slashing at books with swords either. But then then again, what do I know? This place kinda reminds me of um Cyan's dream from Final Fantasy VI, honestly. You know, where you're fighting uh, Larry, Curly, and Moe, essentially. What? The door has been closed for two hours. Huh? Only an hour ago, people were coming and going through the door. <laughs> Clever use of the stopwatch, I swear. Only during this hour will the warm... Oh, there we, oh, there we go. Uh, see, like, right here, this is the weird bit. See, look at that. One stair's going down. Oh, that seems strange. Trickster. Flying pumpkins. Uh-oh. Ah! Ow. Ah! What was with that glitch? Fight your ball! Flash! Oh, what the heck's going on with my audio? It's starting to bug me. Kill the whole dang field. Okay, what's this? This is the song of the earth. It dwells in the sword to become power. It dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. 
Alright. And we can still go this way, apparently. Yay. Song of the Water. Okay. Oh. Looking for Necronomicons. Hey, there's one. Cecilia. I want you to use your, um... Lockdown spell. On the Necronomicon. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Ow! Lockdown. Hey, don't use Ultima on me, prick. <laughs> Alright, now, I want to use Lucky Shot on the Imprisoned Necronomicon. That was cool. So it does one shot him. Cause I, I heard somewhere that if you use Imprison and then Lucky Shot on a Necronomicon, it kills it instantly and guarantees the drop. I don't know about if it will guarantee the drop, but oh look at that! Look at that! Awesome! It does. It basically does guarantee the drop. All right, so that's Cecilia's best uh, book. This thing right here. It's even better than the Elder Scroll. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, about that, <laughs> I forgot that there's, jeez, that thing's awesome, alright, okay, now, now that we have that, we don't really have to worry about much else in this area, we can just keep on going, keep on trucking, keep on going. Now, if I recall, actually, in the remake of this game, they made Dela Metallica completely different. What's this? Knowledge is the treasure. You must engrave this into your heart if you seek the other side of this door. Now we got two Necronomicons. Alright. Let's lock them both down. And see if I get two more Necronomicons if I kill them with Lucky Shot. Oh, okay. I guess I just uh, simply did get lucky, you know? Hmm. Keen Silk. Ah! Woo! Oh crap, we're low on health. Not cool, dude. Oh man. Ooh. Accelerator heal blade. Gotta make sure Cecilia has enough HP to survive so I can do this. There we go. I didn't realize those things could hit so hard. Gaia crash! Hmm. Lockdown again. What I hate. You trip. You're prison. Now, lucky shot it. Boing. And do I get another Necronomicon? I do! That's all. That, that confirms it right there, then. If you use Lockdown and kill it with Lucky Shot, you instantly get it, no matter what. That's cool. That's cool to know. Okay, give me just a moment here, guys. I need to take a look at something here. Alright, guys, we are back. I'm actually gonna head back to the save point for now, and I'm gonna take a break for now, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and split the video here for now. 
till then, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and have yourselves a wonderful day. Uh, till then, this has been White Mage Serenia signing off of this episode of Let's Play uh, Wild Arms. In our next episode, guys, we will continue through De La Metallica. Till then, everyone, see you again soon.